and share with you some dialogue that I think is uh, really important for you to have at the moment. And the reason why is I think that if you go to listing presentations post COVID-19 and list property at prices that vendors want, not that the market is prepared to actually pay, you're gonna become a collector of what I called antiques. And antiques are listings that sit in your shop for years. And um, hey to everyone that's coming on. Hey Matt. And um, I want everyone to understand that there's a big difference between a listing and a liability. A listing is, uh, is an agency agreement that's signed up with the perception that this property has got a motivated vendor at a realistic price um, that's paying you a fair fee and is investing in the marketing and uh, hopefully they're nice people as well. The opposite of course of that is a liability which is uh, a property that's overpriced, unmotivated, they've really pushed hard to get a low commission out of you, they may invest very little in marketing and to top it all off they might have just terrible expectations of what you're going to be able to do. And I'm letting you know that for the last few years in most markets across Australia and New Zealand, you were still able to get away with listing a property that was a little bit overpriced because there's a thing called vendor management and eventually that property would sell. But I want to let you know that those properties are going to be heavily penalised in this market, those that aren't priced right. And I want to share with you some of the dialogue and language that I think is going to be extremely useful at a listing presentation now to help beat, hey Craig, good to see you and I hear you're doing great stuff. So I want to share with you some of the dialogue and language that I think is going to be extremely useful at a listing presentation right now. So let's, in your own words, by the way, when you're using scripts and dialogues, they've got to be in your own words, not this robotic um, approach that um, has been learnt like a parrot. I mean, people can smell bullshit a mile away and to me the intention of what you're saying is as equal to the delivery of what you're saying. So it's got to sound something along the lines of this, but in your words, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, in regards to the price, let me tell you that the value of your property is dependent on four factors. The location, the presentation, the agent you pick, and the strategy the agent uses. I've got good news. Today, out of those four things, you control three. You can make a decision and impact those things. Yes, location is fixed. You can't change that. But you can certainly add a bit to the presentation. You can certainly make a fine decision and pick the best agent, not the cheapest agent in the marketplace. And I've got to let you know, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, the cheapest agent and the best agent is generally not the same agent. And you certainly can pick the strategy the agent uses. So you can control those three of those four, like presentation, agent you pick, and what strategy the agent uses. Example, marketing. Now, I want to ask you a simple question, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor. Will you be making a decision on the agent you're going to pick based on the things that the agent can control, like their marketing, like their negotiation ability, like their database, like their process, like their track record, like what their list to launch plan is, what social media they're gonna be doing, or will you be picking an agent on the things the agent can't control, like the price they give you for your property? You see, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, there's a saying, and it's called the biggest liar gets the job. And I wanna give you the heads up. I'd like you to understand that there's gonna be a group of real estate people that will visit you and they're going to tell you that your property is worth here knowing very well that the market sets the market. I'm telling you straight Mr and Mrs Vendor, 
No real estate agent can control the market. The market sits the market, but a real estate agent can influence the market. And you've got to be very mindful. If a real estate agent comes along and says your home is worth this, and it sounds very attractive, maybe that's the same as a real estate agent coming over and promising you that they're gonna give you 40 days of sunshine during your 40 day marketing campaign. Would you believe an agent that made that promise to you? And um, I've gotta say that when you learn the art of using metaphors, you'll be able to paint a picture that changes the view and belief a vendor has about a specific real estate topic. That's real selling when you actually ask questions that change the views of another person. I'm letting you know that pretty much from Sunday onwards, it's full steam ahead. I've got Tom Ferry, Delene Lewis, John McGrath, Dr. Fred Gross, Gavin Rubenstein, Marty Fox, Shannon Whitney, Mark McLeod, Josh Tesselin. The list goes on. I've got the best people that are gonna be acting as mentors for 21 days. But for me, the big exciting thing is the launch of my learning development system, which is going to allow people for $97 to do a structured, process-driven, accountability-based training course that's going to require half an hour per day, that's going to give you every piece of language and dialogue and process that you're going to need to use post-COVID-19. I'm going to put the um, link in the comments below. I've allocated all my gym members a guaranteed spot. And then I've gone off and I've allocated a small number of spots to people that aren't gym members to get them a taste of what it's like being coached daily for three weeks. I've priced it at $97 because I think even if you've had a really hard run in the last few weeks, I think that $97 is something that nearly every real estate agent is going to be able to invest and it's going to allow me to allocate daily tasks for me and my team to be on top of all the people and ensure that there's accountability in place and in addition to that we've got three prospecting blitz sessions lined up in those 21 days where we're going to show you what you've got to say and how you're going to say it and and then you're going to go off and prospect on those days there's three of those. So um, today's Wednesday, we've got three or four days. Hey, Sammy, we've got three or four days before we start. Um, so go to realestategym.com.au, that's the easiest way, and just press on the 21 day tab. And um, love to see you on board. But my concept is to give content that's relevant to this current market. And maybe we'll just finish off with one more other tip. And that is, one of the fastest way to get one of your vendors educated right now is to play guess the price. Get a vendor of yours, put them in the car, drive them around and show them properties that have sold in the last week or two and um, ask them, what do you think it's sold for? Most of the time, they're gonna give you a higher figure than what it's sold for. I'll say 900 and you'll say, no, that's sold for 835. Let's drive to the next one. What do you think that's sold for? 850? No, it's sold for 790. What do you think that's sold for? 750? No, it's sold for 723. Then you'll come back to their property and they'll realize that they've got what is called the vendor pricing error. And that's going to be the fastest way for you to educate a vendor on the reality of the marketplace. You can tell from my language and tone that for me, getting properties signed with realistic expectations and getting them priced right quickly even after you've listed them is gonna be critical for you to survive and thrive post COVID-19, which keeping my fingers crossed is gonna be very, very soon. Anyway, guys and girls, look forward to being with you over that three week period. See you soon.